Hey guys, so this is going to be my embroidery stash. And I, I recently got um, everything condensed into one container. I moved all my stickers from the container to a laundry basket um, because they were just too cramped in the container. So, um, yeah, I, I moved everything into the container, so I've got it all combined, and, um, I recently c came across the few things that I forgot I had. I'm, I'm gonna leave out all of my yarns, which I realize are not embroidery, um, but I do have some yarn, yarn-like crafts in the mix, but all my, like, uh, what do you call them? Skeins of skeins of yarn. I left out, and I left out all of my extra bundles of latch hook yarn, which is just yarn but cut into like three inch pieces. Um, and there's one kit that I also will not be showing. It's a wood duck, a wood duck rug kit. It's buried down deep in my closet. And will not be unearthed until I renovate this room because it's buried under all of my wooden pieces. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I won't be getting to that anytime soon. Um, so first I'll start with the things that are not in the container. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, I recently got these little drawers. This is where I'm keeping all of my, um... My mystery floss. Um, when I finish with the kit, a lot of times I'll have, um, you know, six stranded, six plied strands that I um, didn't get to. I'll put them in here. Um, or I bought just bags of Ada cloth before at the thrift store, and there's been bundles of. Um, floss in there and sometimes I buy kits and there's no pattern in the kit so I'm just left with eight end floss so any mystery flosses I stick in here because I will use them you know for like um, small small projects um, <clears throat> my off brands of floss I wonder where that one. My off brands of floss I put in this drawer, which I keep on my desk. Um, most of this is Hungarian floss from Hungary. And there's some. Um, that's so tiny I can't read it. Looks Japanese. Probably a Japanese brand. And then there's some, some mystery floss that came in the kit Bonnie gave me. And I keep it packed in this with some uh, leather cord that I got gifted for Christmas and I don't know what to do with. Um, I have this bag. This is where I keep my current project that I'm working on, providing it's not too giant. Um, I feel like I should wind this up. Hang in there, tripod. Hang in there. Ooh. My tripod's fighting me. What is wrong with you? Oh, no. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to play with that later. <laughs> it won't go up anymore. Um. So in this bag, the front pocket, I keep the pattern and picture of what I'm working on. And the back pocket is larger, and that's where I keep my actual project. This one I've been working on for two years. Yeah. 
I kept it in the car to work on at lunchtime when I wasn't too tired. Um, and that didn't happen. <laughs> and then on the inside, I keep my scissors, a jar, a spice jar to stick my, um, my tails. And then this container is the floss that's needed for the kit. And I've got some threaders. And then there's a couple spare hoops in here. And then I've also got this kit in here that I haven't started yet. I was going to make this for my friend's birthday because it's coming up soon. And she loves rabbits. And I don't have enough time to make her anything else. So that's my, it's my to-go bag, but it's also my stay-at-home bag. It's basically just a safe place for what I'm currently working on. Um, so the next step is, you know, I have this kit, um, it's an ornament kit, I wasn't sure whether to include this or not, but there is embroidery on it, it's not, um, it's felt ornaments, but you embroider on them. And that I, I work on sporadically whenever I'm in the mood. Um, I've cut out all of them or kitted up. Or kitted up. All of them are cut out into, you know, I have all the ornaments cut out and, and put into their own individual baggies. And I've got two, two drawers of those. And then this is my, I still need to get a pair of scissors to stick in here. But this is my um, my kit, so to say, for the ornament. So I so I can take it if I want to. There's um, I keep one ornament in here and a skewer to shove in the polyester for the ornaments that need polyester in a needle. And this is the floss that came with. The kit, and I've got my polyester, and then I've just got a array of an array of scraps of ribbon, as well as a couple spools to use as the hangers. So I like it this way, so that if I, you know, I can just take it if I want to work on one, because they are a little bit time-consuming. So I think that's it as far as the stuff that's not in the container and I'm sorry if a lot of what I show you is super boring um I've got a couple small hoops some green 14 count this came from a kit that there was no pattern to and this white Ada is from Bonnie it came in a kit where there was no pattern to and I've got these these are to make ornaments I presume that they came with this white Ada but there's no pattern so I'll have to make something up in the future um oh, I found this white Ada recently Here is one of my kits. I think I got this for free from a thrift store where I used to live. It's for a Santa Claus ornament. Okay. Yeah, it makes it makes him Santa Claus. And it's cruel, I guess. I'm very intimidated to try cruel. I don't know. So I've just never done it before. I recently got this Ada cloth, which 
has to be in its 20s because it's super, super tiny. I uh, found another little hoop that I bought. We're always breaking our wooden hoops, so I, I buy a lot of them. Um, and I recently also got this tube of white 14 count Ada. This I got at the thrift store. I never even checked to see if the pattern was in here for the cat. They taped it shut. Um, but I bought it because I thought it would be cute too. Like the stuffed cats. I have this kit. This is a cruel kit that I got for free from that same antique store from where I used to live. Paragon Needlecraft. It makes this snow scene. There's another hoop. This is in here, an unfinished dream catcher. I don't like my webbing. Uh, I've got this. I honestly can't remember where I got this. Um, I know what it is, but I don't know what one could possibly make with whatever these are called, what one could possibly make that would, you know, with something so tiny. I mean, it has instructions on how to do it, but it doesn't tell you what you're supposed to make with it. I know I didn't buy it. I don't know how it came into my possession, but it was, it was here. I found it when I was going through all my stuff. I've got... I think five of these coasters. Yeah, I think five of them. I hope I didn't pay two dollars for these ones a piece. Hopefully they were on sale when I got them. But yeah, those will be fun one day when I get to them. Here's another boring hoop. I do like the... The hanger thingy. Not sure where I got that from. I have this embroidery piece that I got for free. Probably with Cruel. I was going to try and do it with floss though. His floss is prettier. Um, yeah, there's no instructions. So I'll work on this one day when I have a clue as to what I'm doing. At this point, I don't. And I've also got... Fuck sign. This pattern which is also a cruel pattern um, with no with no pattern so once again it'll be saved for when I have some experience or maybe I should just practice on that one because that one was kind of ugly and then I've got this one um, which also does not have a pattern that I got for free um, but I really like it, so I'm only going to do this when I've got some confidence built up. But yeah, that one came from the same antique store. I've got this kit. 
This is a plastic canvas kit. Is this No, it shouldn't be taped. I stuck it in this bag. Oh. It makes these pussy cats. Someone had started one in here. Again, I've never done plastic <laughs> canvas. I have, here's my problem. I want to do every single craft there is. And, you know, I've got the materials to do most every single craft in this room. But I am very slow at learning how to do said crafts. Here's another craft. Um, this one, this is a bad purchase. It's like a, a bad spending purchase for me. I didn't buy it because I wanted to make these stupid flowers. I bought it because I knew that these kits weren't being made <laughs> anymore. Um, flower looms. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll... Um, it was just plastic. Um, maybe one day I'll feel inspired to make flowers. Maybe I'll get myself a nice straw bag and make some flowers to go on it. I don't know. And I've got this kit, which I recently got for Christmas. Not my cup of tea. But I will make it. I will make it my cup of tea. I might have to stick some. Add some stuff to it. Um, here is some. What is this? Tuscan Tan 14 Count Ada. I, I basically buy Ada whenever I see it at the thrift store because I'm a hoarder. I've got this kit. Um, I feel torn about this kit because the frame doesn't go with the pattern, in my opinion. So I've been reluctant to do it. Cause it's like, yeah, I know people that love rabbits, but what do two coffee cups and together the nicest place in all the world have to do with rabbits? I don't know. Well, I have to find a different frame and stitch something else for that bunny frame. Here's some more Ada. There's some lilac and a pink in there. I don't know. I got it from the thrift store. And here's this one. Watermelon cross stitch. And Jan Lynn. Oh, it's on even. Oh, that's Ada. God, I'm such a dope doofus. I did not know until recently that even weave that was the exact same thing as Ada cloth. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's Ada cloth in here. So, you know, that's the pattern. I really like lighthouses. Mainly because my great grandma collected lighthouses, so being the hoarder that I am, I continued that tradition. Um, this one I just got for Christmas. If you're happy and you know it, I was thinking about doing this for my friend because I know she likes flamingos. I think it's pretty cute. I got this pattern. This is a quilt pattern. Again, you know, one, one day I'll learn how to make quilts. And I thought, what better quilt to make than a schnauzer? I don't even know if the pattern's... A, like, this pattern wasn't even taped or stapled shut. I don't know why I didn't look. 
out. We'll just assume that the pattern's in here. I don't know. But that's a pretty, that'd be a pretty awesome quilt if I could, if I knew how to quilt. And I've had this one for a while. I don't know any fishermen that are happily married. So here it sits until I know a fisherman that's happily married. Um, I have this kit that I was going to do for myself because I love kittens. And I have this kit that I was going to do for a friend. But I don't have time before her birthday. If you haven't noticed, all my stuff comes from a thrift store. So this is a giant um, dimensions kit. I don't even know what you call this. I mean, to me it's all embroidery. But it's like a... You know, it has the, the grid. It's kind of like uh, plastic canvas, but not plastic canvas. I don't know. I liked it. I live in a cabin. Why not have, why not make something that is a cabin and have it hanging in my cabin? Get in there. That's a pretty big kit. Then I have this, and um, this is a rug kit, and I have all of the wool yarns that go to this kit in my closet that I didn't feel the need to pull out. Um, and this is the same thing as the wood duck one that I mentioned earlier, um, that I, I'm not going to empty out my whole closet to retrieve at this point in time. I probably took this one out of the box. It came in like this huge box, you know, because it had to fit all that yarn. This is a, a pretty big rug, um, but the box is probably damaged. That's probably why it's not the box. So I've got that. I've recently been very motivated to attempt rug making. Then in this very damaged box, this is another, this is uh, uh, a latch hook kit. I got this from my former friend's mother. It makes that, that kitty. And it's, She had done some work on it before she ran away. So, uh, I always felt like if I ever saw her again, that I could give it to her. Finished. That's my time, 24 minutes. I've got this kit. I fell in love, love, love with this pattern of a Japanese garden. It says Oriental Tea Garden is the pattern and sunset. And it's uh, cruel, but you know, I don't know how to do cruel at the moment. So here it sits. Um, I have copious amounts of stretcher bars. Here's some more stretcher bars. I 
I don't know how to use stretcher bars. And then I have um, this scroll frame. I don't know how to use a scroll frame either. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Wouldn't that be nifty if I did know? I'm getting close to my time here. Um, I've got this, which must have come from my mother, because it's not something I would have picked out for myself. And I've got some Wisteria Ada tube of that. Here's a roll of black Ada. And here's a roll of yellow Ada. And here's a roll of 18 count white Ada. I'm pretty much good on Ada, but I keep buying it. This is in my embroidery bin. Uh, it's paper twist, not embroidery. But um, it doesn't have any friends that it can be stored with. I mean, I don't, I don't know why I bought this. I don't know what to do with paper twist. Okay, I guess I have six of these posters. Um, here's some ivory Ada. Then I have this embroidery kit that was already started, but, um, it's pretty cute, so I'm gonna, I don't know if there's a, it's a chicken, Should probably take out this really old tomato in here, but, I don't know, I feel like this tomato belongs. It, it deserves to stay with, with that embroidery piece. And here's some loose, I don't know what color that is. I don't know, it's kind of, it could be white. Could be dingy white or it could be eggshell. And I recently got this at the thrift store. It's a 16 count old rose Ada. And here is some the color is off in this with the lights. I can't tell. Kind of looks off-white, ivory, white, white, ivory. Um, I got this kit before I moved up here. I mean, it was 50 cents for all these bookmarks. I got it from Walmart. And then... Okay, this this is going to be the last thing I show, I guess. Which is unfortunate, because I'm almost done. Um, I've got this kit. Silk ribbon embroidery. My mom told me she always wanted to learn silk ribbon, so I'm going to let her do one of them. These are brooches, but um, I'm going to turn them into ornaments, because these are... These would be pretty gaudy brooches. Silk ribbon made in China. What a selling point. Okay, so this is going to be the last thing. I have to recharge my camera because it's geriatric and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. It's just a... 
bit more to show. Um, I got this. This is just some more um, ribbon for ribbon embroidery. It came with all these needles and ribbons and then someone had actually done some work and and the flowers look great. I can only hope that I would be able to do the same thing. She must have been practicing. Yeah, there's that. Again, you know, it's just another craft I wanted to learn how to do. Got some royal blue, Ada. I have this. Um, my mom told me that I told her that I wanted to um, learn how to make friendship bracelets. I don't remember telling her that. She also told me that's why I bought all the Hungarian floss is to make friendship bracelets. And so she she bought this for me. Maybe I did want to make bracelets. Maybe that was yet another thing that I wanted <laughs> to make. So, yeah. Um, I probably will try. I do want to. Let's be honest. I want to learn how to do everything. And I have this Cameo Rose Ada. I have this kit. It's supposed to be a magnet, but I'm going to turn it into an ornament. I'm not a huge fan of bears, teddy bears. But, um, I bought it. And this was gifted to me from Leslie. I actually think it's really cute. I'll probably leave out the wordage. But I do like the kitties and the birds. I have this cinnamon uh, cruel, yeah, cruel embroidery. And I have this jar of pickles cruel embroidery. Uh, this felt snowman banner kit, uh, I opened it, probably because I was curious. Um, and if memory serves me right, this felt doesn't have the pattern stamped on it, so. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll have to do some work with tracing paper. It's cute though. I like it. I've got this bushel of apples cruel kit. And I've got this jar of tomatoes cruel kit. I guess my thoughts is I wanted to do them and stick them up in the kitchen after it was redone whatever year that happened. I have this cross stitch kit, which I love, you know, cause like I said, I collect lighthouses. Um, somebody had already done one of them and they did a fantastic job on it. And so I, have the other three to do. Here's, there's an actual uh, printed out uh, picture in here of all the lighthouses. So, um, and it came, 
came with all these frames, but I'm like super paranoid. I don't want to stick them in these cheap frames that don't have glass. Because <laughs> I'm, you know, once you have it framed and that sits on the wall and then it just gets covered in dust <laughs> and, you know, dander and so I'm going to uh, keep my eye out at the thrift store for four small matching <laughs> oval frames. I might have to search somewhere else other than the thrift store for that. But, uh, we'll see. I have this latch kit. And someone had already started it, but, um, I liked it, so I wanted to finish it. I may not look like a patriotic person or seem like a patriotic person, but I actually do like patriotic stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll make that and keep it for my sale. And then I have this latch kit. Um, and this one I bought, um, uh, it had a box, the box got ruined. Um, I know there's a, oh, there's not a picture in here. Oh, that's sad. You won't be able to see it. It's, a. Uh... no, you can't see that. It's a lighthouse. I don't think the instructions would have it. I think there'd be there would need to be more yarn than that, but I got this at the at Bargain World years ago before I moved up here. I got this from the thrift store. Um, I think it's um it says twelve mesh cotton interlock canvas with heat treated design wool yarn six strand cotton floss alphabet for personalization. Needle graft and instructions. This was hanging at the th hanging around at the thrift store forever, and finally decided to buy it. <sighs> Colors this. Here's some navy Ada, and they had this metallic floss that was a gift. From my mom one year. I certainly hope she didn't pay five dollars for it. And here's another hoop. I have this little butterfly cross stitch. This must have come from my mom as well. I do like it, but I think it came from her. And um here's a pansy bookmark kit that I presume came from my mom because um the price tags are ripped off it. She probably paid 99 cents for it. I like that the edges are finished. I wonder if oh and it looks like it does include backing for it. Oh this is a nice kit. That's a nice one. Here's some white Ada I have this kit. This one um, definitely came from my mom. 
not really my, um, I'm not really into the whole old school country thing. And the price tag, she attempted to scribble out the price tag on the, on the front and then forgot about the one on the back. Ivory Ada, white Ada. It had this obnoxious tiny hoop. Um, this was part of a tiny kit that I ended up giving away because I really hated the pattern. Um, it's just, it's really hard to get it off. Um, but I figured one day, you know, if I needed a super tiny hoop that was smaller than the, all, than the small ones I already bought or um, if I ended up breaking every single wooden hoop I had then I'd have that one. It's a just for case, just in case keep there. I have one skein of DMC floss because I ran out of, um, I ran short of a color on that pattern I was working on and um, I have this kit that I got either for my birthday or for Christmas it was I think it was for my birthday a friend bought it for me which I love but that dog has a lot of confetti in it <laughs> so <laughs> not super eager to get to him so that is it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for showing interest in it. And seeing what I got. I know it's, for me, it's a lot. I guess for most stitchers, it's not a lot, but I don't know. Like I said, I like to try everything, so it's a lot of one thing to have. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.